In this video, I'm showing you a coloured acrylic design using summery colours as my client goes on holiday for Christmas. So I've done all my natural nail prep work and applied my CJP square tips, apply my primer and then come in with CJP crystal glass as a thin base layer on all the nails using my big boy brush. So on this nail, I'm starting off with the Glitter Fairy Indian Summer Collection. I'm using the pink, the orange and the purple glitters out of that collection. So I've just picked all the glitters up together on my brush. So dip into crystal glass, pick up quite a small bead and then into the colours one after the other so you've got them all on your brush. Then just push and place them where you want, sort of pushing them into that cuticle area blending up slightly then coming in with some angel paper so just apply a thin wash of clear acrylic for, to give it something to stick to and then just apply the little pieces And this nail is a full marble nail, so I'm using CJP Colours, Snow White, Magenta, Midnight Purple and Hawaiian Passion Sparkle. So I apply them really wet, really small beads, really wet, get my brush to a nice sharp point, which you can do with a big boy brush, and then come in at 90 degrees and just swirl those colours together. Don't swirl them too much because you still want to see that nice marble design running through. So once you're happy with that, then come in and do the, the next part of the nail and exactly the same technique. Just don't apply two colours, two of the same colour next to each other because this just doesn't really work. It doesn't look right if you do that. Then come back to the first nail and cap in crystal glass. My usual routine of applying quite a large bead at the cuticle area, getting that bead into that cuticle area nice and flush, and then walking the rest of the bead down the belly of the nail, belly of the nail, barrel of the nail, using the belly of my brush. Um, yeah, so keep checking it from all angles as always to check your apex. Make sure it's all nice and smooth. Do the same on this nail. Just look at that marble. I absolutely love these colours marbled together. So this nail is a clear netted design. So where I'm going to put the netting, I just apply crystal glass, a reasonably thick layer because you want something for your piece of net to stick into. So just apply that and then when you're happy, wait for it to turn matte so it's not sticky. I did just fast forward that bit, cut some out 
um, and then go in with your net. Just be really careful when you're doing this. Support the client's finger and the tip of the nail so the netting does imprint into the whole area that you want. Um, and just be really, really gentle with it. If you're too quick and you pull it off too quick, it will just pull the acrylic away and that'll just ruin your design. So just leave that for now, move on to this nail, applying a bead of birthday suit at the cuticle. And I will then blend that up into the tip. I leave the tip quite clear because um, I like that sort of effect and I then come in with the three Glitter Fairy Indian Summer Glitters again, picking them all up in one bead and applying it in sort of an S shape. So starting off in the middle, bringing it up and round onto the tip and then round onto the cuticle and then just use the tip of your brush to push and pat that glitter into place. this netting nail as you can see there's all the little imprints from the net so I apply really really wet beads of snow white midnight purple magenta and Hawaiian passion sparkle you will see the effect revealed at the end so just apply them randomly making sure it's all covered and it's all seeped into those little cracks uh, and then this thumbnail is exactly the same netting design I then cap this whole nail in crystal glass. As you're doing this, as always, keep checking your apex and then add more clear if you need it. So back to the netting imprint design, just come in, refine those edges and then just file over that netted area just to reveal, file away, sort of filing away an excess colour and revealing that design. then remove all dust and then come in with those three glitters again just applying it along that netted area sort of along the edge and then round into the cuticle area pushing and placing it patting it until you're happy
and then cap in crystal glass. So then onto the filing, my usual routine of just refining the shape and those side walls coming underneath to make sure there's no bits of acrylic stuck under there and to make sure it comes out straight. So once you're happy with that shape, start on one side wall. So I always start on my left hand side as I'm looking round the cuticle area, really tucking that filing and then up the right hand side and then just refine the whole nail down the barrel of the nail. Look down the barrel of the nail as well to make sure all the products even and your apex is in the right place. And it's the same on every nail, so I'll just let you watch.
And then remove all that dust and then come in with my CJP Tech Free Top Coat. Applying a nice thin layer covering all that nail, making sure you don't flood the cuticle. Um, and when you're happy, cure in your LED lamp for 60 seconds. And once that comes out, once your hand comes out of the lamp, make sure you just give it a minute or so to cool before applying cuticle oil, because if you don't, then it can dull the shine of that top coat. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching.